Cancer is a major threat to human health, and leukemia, which is a cancer of the blood and bone marrow, has always been one of the more difficult forms of cancer to cure. The traditional treatment for this kind of acute leukemia was used to chemotherapy, all Chinese traditional medicine, but the results were well poor. With only 10 to 20 percent remission rate, Acute promyelocytic leukemia, or APL, where there are too many immature blood-forming cells called promyelocytes in the blood or bone marrow, historically was a devastating diagnosis. And they were very sad to treat this kind of acute leukemia because the patients usually die within three to five years. Today, this deadly subtype of leukemia is highly curable. The effectiveness of one of the drugs was proved by Cheng Yi Wang of Shanghai Jiao Tong University School of Medicine. He showed that all transretinoic acid, or ATRA, was effective in treating APL. Wang's team began studying the differentiation therapy in leukemia in the late 1970s when they learned about the works of international researchers. This alternative treatment focuses on overcoming the blocked differentiation and allowing the leukemia cells to turn into functional, mature cells. In the early 1980s, Wong's team demonstrated in a cell culture study that ATRA was effective in fresh APL cells. They used ATRA in APL treatment and the results were very marked. While ATRA was effective in inducing cell differentiation, a new challenge occurred – drug resistance. Recurrence was also a concern. Wong learned about the work of Ting Dong Chang at the first affiliated hospital of Harbin Medical University. In the early 1970s, colleagues at Harbin Medical University learned about arsenic from country doctors. Work by Chang and other colleagues discovered that arsenic could treat leukemia. Arsenic has been used in treatment in China and other countries for more than a thousand years. However, there was no general accepted consensus for any therapeutic benefit. Chang and colleagues studied the components of the recipe and found that the active compound was arsenic trioxide, or ATO. In 1973, they published a paper in a local journal reporting that they had used a solution containing ATO and a trace amount of mercury chloride to treat six cases of leukemia. All six improved after the treatment. Chang and colleagues also tested their solution on acute leukemia, including APL. Now, the combination of these two drugs can raise the complete remission rate and prolong the lifespan of the patient. Today, the combination of ATRA and ATO has been adopted in the guidelines for APL treatment. The highly effective treatment regimen has led to complete remission rates of more than 90%. Five-year survival rate for APL has exceeded 80%. While this treatment has been successful for APL, other forms of leukemia require further study. Today, ATO is recognized as the most biologically active single drug in APL treatment. It has been used nationally and internationally to treat relapsed as well as newly diagnosed APL, saving the lives of many patients. For their seminal discoveries that transformed treatment of APL, the Future Science Prize in Life Science was awarded to Chen Yi Wang and Ting Dong Chang.